G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, GD. It's screenshot time, obviously. Come on. Alright, over and done with. Excellent. So, we're back. I made a Kraken. I don't think this is a full length Kraken, actually. I think it's a little bit short. But, if we use our deconstruction planner, which now counts trains, which I love, we have a 3030 train. So, it's small. Um, so, it means that when we roll this thing out, it should kill everything within like a 15 mile radius. So, we need to do a few things. First things off, we need to fuel this thing. And we're obviously going to do that with... Actually, we're going to do it with nuclear fuel. Because um, we're going to want that acceleration bonus. Uh, now, I don't have nuclear fuel made yet. But that's fine. That, that's that's a, 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 a not right now problem. It's a, that's a very soon problem. It does have a little bit of uh, rocket fuel in it currently, so I can move it around. Even then, it's not exactly what I would call something that moves terribly fast. But you know, go away trees. Uh, but at the moment, I just want to get the fueling done and the artillery done so we can start loading it um because it's gonna take it's gonna take a while to load it took a long time just to get the thing built um in fact i had to run up the bus and take every engine that i could find off the bus and then after doing that um i then had to run back up the bus and steal every engine a second time and then i actually went over and i where are we? Engines. I speeded and prod modded them to get bonus production out of them. As you can see, they run at 5% faster than normal. I also prod modded like electric engines and um, robot frames at the same time just to minimize our resource cost um, overall. Uh, okay, substation, substation, substation. That's our research finished. So we're now out of research. Yes, um, we have finished the uh, science pack um, so that's the other thing I'm going to get done this episode and that's why I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible um, we do need to make a satellite and launch our first rocket uh, there we go paste 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 go away trees Loading on the corners is difficult. I'm hoping, and really the only way to know is to come back and physically confirm later that the corners load correctly. Uh, go away. Uh, load, load, load. Which is gonna have to wait until we've actually got fuel running um, so we can test it out. Okay, that end's done. Let's get this end of the train done. I've already cleared all the trees out of this end of the train. Uh, and unfortunately, I've been... I don't give me emails, so I actually have a blueprint for this sort of train, which has been carefully placed and carefully built, so a substation just reaches to power everything up. Um, obviously, I was a little bit gun home and a little bit carefree when I built mine and um, I need two substations to power up um, all the inserters in the middle but if all goes well we should be able to at least get the inserters and the boxes lined up and then come back later um, after we've got the nuclear fuel running and confirm it has actually loaded it. Uh, but the other thing I desperately want to get done, uh, I can't even craft one, really? Oh, 
I need to craft one. I need just one of these. Uh, gimme. Bots fly faster. Power, power, power. Yeah, I'll power the other side whilst I wait. Uh, copy, paste. You, I want you to request in just one artillery shell. It's not going to be enough. The request will have to be up later. But if I can just get one ash, one shell in every train, in every wagon, including these ones on the corners, then at least I know that the uh, requester box works, and that's really what it's all about. Try to make sure that these requester box, bleh, requester boxes. Um, actually line up with the train. Uh, those two, those two, those two. Because, yeah, straight away, we, we, there is no way we have the artillery shell production to keep up with a, a single Kraken. Um, generally, it's like 100 artillery shells per minute. Um, or something in that sort of vicinity. It's 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 a quite large epic build normally to keep one of these trains serviced, serviced, uh, maintained and serviced. Uh, copy that lot. coverage which is a whole separate problem okay now I've got a couple of corners to fill in and then we should be good we should be able to walk away from this project and just come back in a little while and see see these guys have shells and they're on a corner they're done their inserter boxes work and that's what it really comes down to um, don't forget every single artillery has the possibility, and there's a possibility, of having up to 100 shells in it. Uh, that fix that problem? Should do. Um, so this train being 100 wagons long with 100 shells uh, per wagon is 10,000 artillery shells that I need to make and load. Um, so it takes a while. Um, ideally, what I, what I want to do is I want to swap the whole lot over to a belt system and run a belt through the whole thing um, rather than having bots fly artillery shells across. But that'll be, I don't know, maybe this episode, maybe the next episode where we um, upgrade our artillery production, our shell production. Okay, so for the moment, I'm just going to double signal it so it can come in or out that direction. Uh, that's happy. That's going to go build. Meanwhile, I want to get rocket launched because that's our next really big project. Well, important project, getting our first rocket off the ground. 
which will be what episode 26 yeah 26 I think so uh, no 27 I just had to scroll down and, and see what, what episode I was up to um, yeah 27 it's a little bit later than I would have liked but you know it's still not too bad um, we've definitely got a, a, a much more epic base than had we just started at scratch uh, I'm gonna be super lazy and go hey you uh, I'm gonna move over top and I'm then gonna make one of these and you want one of them with one of them with solar panels with accumulators with blue circuits uh that's five recipe pieces oh radars that's six uh it takes seven items no it takes six there we go that's all the items blue circuits blue circuits which we're gonna have botted in uh to set box after i give it the setup uh blue circuits which are not the network you know what, conveniently, they're right there. So we're gonna bring in solar panels, accumulators, and radars via robots, because they are all in the network. We have a low density structures here, which we're bringing in via bot. I'm just gonna bring them out and shove them in there. Uh, rocket fuel is already right there, going to the rocket. We're just gonna bring in here. That's everything done. Uh, now I know that, that we're not actually shoving that much into this box. We'll bring in a hundred of each. Come on! Go faster! Fly faster, robots. Stop! Don't stop to charge. Where is our solar build? It's literally right there. 56, 64, 70, 80, 90, one, one satellite. And then you can load the thing again for the next one. Look, it's our first rocket. It's our first rocket. Come on, in, in, in. Oh, really? You can't climb in anymore? Well, there you go. All right. So that's our first rocket. Which is going to give us our, our very first run of um, space science, rocket science. I don't care if it's called space science, I'm still going to call it rocket science. Uh, 20 hours, 24 minutes into the game, 1,000 packs straight there into that request, uh, into that passive provider chest. We're then going to be. Put it on the belt. I don't need to put it on the belt. I could just bring it straight in and put it in our one lab because we've got one lab, but you know, we'll put it on a belt. Uh, and our first research we want to pick is the artillery bombardment remote, which is two and a half thousand research. Uh, request the whole two thousand. Yep, one stack, please. So That'll bring the research across. We're going to tick you auto launch with cargo. Um, I guess the only thing I should do, and I'll do it now, otherwise I'm going to forget, is I'm going to link that to there and I'm going to say, hey you, if for some reason this has, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? Yeah, you got a red light on you. So if this has less than 10,000 science packs, like just in case we somehow manage to have 10,000 science packs sitting in that chest, we can stop launching rockets because we'll have enough. We'll have enough research. Anyway, um, science packs are all running. Research is running. The lab that could is now running. Um, this research is going to take a while. Especially with one lab going at it as hard as possible. Um, but that's fine. That's sort of the, the point. It can just sit there and run. Uh, Meanwhile, let's go see what we can do about our artillery shell production. Because, yeah. 
we need a little bit a little bit higher production. And where the hell are you attacking? Up there. Have some more laser joy. Because I still need to I need to get have more artillery shells, number one. Number two, after I have more artillery shells, I need to work out a way. So, first off, how much explosives are we making? We're making four. And we're spending... Uh, four. So, we need to upgrade both of them. Okay, so in that case, let's start at this end and we'll work our way forward. So, first steps first, we want a chemical plant making sulfur. Alright, first steps first, turn off our personal robots and get rid of all of that. So, we want one of these guys. Uh, it wants... Actually, it wants us to do three things. So hang on. It wants that, that, that. Uh, there, there, and there. And then, whilst the bots are flying down, I'll walk up. Because I want to go back to our workshop workshop I'm gonna to have to mentally think about that every single time um, but I do like that I've got to admit uh, place one more assembler and we're gonna make yellow explosives uh, so a blasting charge needs 20 explosives a empty barrel and two grenades and you're gonna be completely bot fit So that gives us barrels. Uh, then we need grenades and explosives. So grenades are in the network and explosives are not in the network. And I reckon we need a hundred. hundred should be heaps. Okay, so that's gonna build up there. We'll go down, we'll put some explosives in the network and then we can have some blasting caps and I'm gonna request some blasting caps because we're gonna start using direct water. Oh, really? They're stacking 100? Oh, that's so much better than cliff explosives that stack in 20s. Uh, just, just, just disconnect that. Yeah. Uh, actually, disconnect. Nope. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, you go there. You go there. Player in the way. It's always player in the way. Okay. That'll give us some explosives. That'll go up there. We'll make explosives up there. In the meantime, we're going to put that in there. We've got our... Um, we've got our beacon coverage. You output a whopping 17 per second. Which is going to mean, if we're using belts, I'm going to need two stacking servers. Uh, I can get away with red belt. Uh, screenshot. So. Now what? Now we copy the whole thing. Uh, no, let's get yeah, personal robots on. Cut the whole thing. Put it over here. Then copy the whole thing. And we'll put it over here. And then we're going to change. Nope, we're not going to change the recipe because it's not built yet. 
Come on. Let's just actually do this. I've got some on me. I'll steal you as well. Uh, we're going to change your recipe to that one. And we're going to see that you use 1.6 sulfur and you output like 17 sulfur. So I can do 10 of these guys in a row. And they need sulfur and they need coal. So if we... You output on the far side of the So if I wrap you backward, take you up that way. So bear with me here. And I blueprint that, put that there. Without the scrap, I don't need that crap. We haven't got that far yet. You have two lots of water on the intake. So we're gonna do water, water, Underground, underground, underground. Yeah. And then we'll just bring the petroleum straight in there. Uh, we then... How do I get... Okay. So that brings the sulfur in on one side. And that'll let me bring in the coal on the other side um, sorry I, I, I'm replying to a text message I'm trying to get my phone fixed because yeah it's 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 screen has seen very much better days uh, okay um, I know bad form Jerry bad form okay so if I bring in coal here sulfur there and then this is a giant water pipe. I should be able to string 10 of these together without too much hassle. So we're gonna copy that, paste that there. Pop that, is that right? Yeah, so if I pop that there, it means, no, hang on, let's do our output at the same time. That way when we blueprint it, we get a full blueprint with all the goodies. Hang on, how much are you outputting? Four. If I do 10 of them, that's 40. <clears throat> okay, so first off, you need blue belt. Um, secondly, I'll we'll worry about secondly later. Okay, so if I do, uh, then it, this is then going to be end up being 10 long. It's going to run into something. Built it backward. Okay, once again, copy, paste that up there. Copy this version, bring it in. So we're gonna remove this crap, this crap, this crap. We're gonna have you output there, you output there, in there, in there. From there to there. Okay, so step one. Build it the other way around. Then we're going to copy one of these. Because this I was happy with this. And then we just need to reverse the order of operations. So you take your stuff that way. Uh, and then we're going to copy that again. Pipe no longer goes that way, it goes that way. Uh, actually, it does go this way because we're going to have water over here. Boom. Woohoo! Uh, let's try again. I need a little bit more boom power. Awesome. And see, because I've just used cliff explosives, I'm like, I hope that's a screenshot, not a crash. Crashes are bad. But it means I can now put a pump right there. So that's our water in. I haven't done power. Power's a separate problem. I'll fix power later. Uh, but it now means I should be able to, like so, bring our finished explosive material out to the right. 
So hang on, if I can get this guy to line up with that guy, this is now a complete blueprint. Get rid of whatever's erroneous there, and we go. How many should we? How many do we say? Ten. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Uh, so I need a coal belt. Then I need a petroleum pipe. Uh, let's just maybe go that way, out of my way. Get rid of that. Um, there and there. So that should work. like it's complete now i am going to have a problem with too much output after all the modules get there which means one two three four five so this guy here uh we're all outputting to the bottom side of the belt so i'm going to do this and i'm going to say output priority left which should move everything from the top side of the belt to the bottom side of the belt and now I've seen the whole thing built. I'm like, I could remove this one tile gap between these beacons because I don't actually need that extra tile. I could slide the substation down under here, but it's built. So this gives us one metric crap ton of explosives and then rebuilding lipstick and artillery shells is probably something I'm just gonna do off camera. Um, because it's really not that interesting. Uh, I've got all the material here. I'm just going to have to rebuild it to a ratio. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, um, our Kraken is at least built. And I'll also go through and check that all the corners are actually loading correctly. It looks pretty good apart from that one. That one doesn't look terribly good. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll go through and, and double check the Kraken. Um, also, next episode, I guess. Oh, they're definitely the wrong things we're trying to show. Yeah, okay. So some tweaks that have to be made because I copied the wrong. I really copied the wrong chest. Um, yeah. So next episode, um, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Honestly, we've got rockets up and running. We've got products uh, um, finished. Two. Really? We've launched a second rocket? Shit, we have two. Uh, maybe next episode will be a second lab. If we've already launched two rockets. And there's probably a th whole heap of packs. Yeah, there's a whole heap of packs right there. Um, no idea. No idea what's in store for the next episode. Um, we'll have artillery shells. Maybe we'll build a Kraken defense so we can take our Kraken out because, yeah, we need to start expanding. We need to start blueprinting. We need to start planning. And I need to make a decision whether we're going to do rockets per minute with or without satellites because that is still very much up in the air. Um, haven't decided, to be honest. Um, haven't thought that far in advance. I've, I've had lots of people ask, but I haven't decided. A satellite, although it seems like a really, really simple thing, actually adds a lot to your production stats per minute. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.